Did you grow pumpkins this year? And you don't know what to do with those delicious vegetables once you've gotten them grown from your garden? In today's video, we're gonna show you ways that you can take the pumpkins that you've grown in your garden or even the jack-o'-lanterns that your kids carved for Halloween and turn them into a delicious desserts for the holidays. Stay tuned. I'm Tammy and welcome to City Homestead Living, where bringing a piece of country to your backyard is more than a motto, it is a way of life. It's chilly out here and this morning you could say that the frost was literally on the pumpkin. And so today we're going to talk pumpkins and what you can do to preserve them. We're going to show you ways to cook and preserve your pumpkins to make delicious desserts for the holidays. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, and even pumpkin cheesecake. Grab a cup of coffee and come on along. jack-o'-lanterns are done so we're going to remove the guts from our sugar pumpkins we're cutting up halloween pumpkins got some steaming in the microwave we're going to make pumpkin mush so that we can make pumpkin pies and pumpkin bread for thanksgiving and christmas there's our pumpkin all nice and cooked as you can see it pierces easily with a fork we're going to let it cool and then we're going to take the skin off. Sugar pumpkins in a baking dish microwaved with a half inch of water. So now we're doing the last step to processing our pumpkins and we are taking a spoon and scooping all the um, pulp off of the skins. And then we will be giving the skins to the chickens. They love them. We will do the same thing with our sugar pumpkins. This is our KitchenAid Immersion Blender. We use this for many things on the homestead. And we will be using two different methods to process our pumpkin this year. And the KitchenAid is the first method. It makes it quite smooth. There's the final smooth product. And I will bag it up into two cup bags. Next, we will use our food processor. This takes additional dishes to wash, although it does leave a nice creamy product. So here, I'm putting them into small bags and putting two cups in them i'm using my funnel fits perfectly in there and then i don't get goo all over the zipper here we are all labeled and ready for the freezer mr silly face can't wait for all the pumpkin goodness we're going to create this year for christmas and thanksgiving I was right that the girls were super excited to have the pumpkin skins as a special treat. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share our videos on your social media. Remember, our family is on a mission to 
show hundreds of thousands of individuals and families how they can create a sustainable way of life right where they are. Thank you for joining along with us today on our pumpkin adventures. And as always, happy homesteading adventures.